Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Uh. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never. Then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 
13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywheres. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Wow, it sticks! Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. 
Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog, because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... You... You cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, Steak Charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack. Son of God and Blue, who is this Bosco? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. No. But you may call me Jean-Francois Bandepart, the new A French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing, yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepart. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Shh. They don't know that. What's keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a failsafe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tans. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tans. It is a b -tads Part D. How does b -tads Part D work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I store. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device, non pareil chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg! These are not American dollar! No, but there are ten million of them! Hmm... Well, the prizes at Ted E. Bears can be quite useful. I accept, and in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisement! Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! 
And that's not all. I seen him kill. Larvae. Larvae! <gasps> so yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir. Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it! What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes sir. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Leave the gun. Take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckles! Bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain Sybil Pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. 
We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam. Max. Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, They'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant murder. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own death to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs, graft, corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. What's that you keep doing with your arm? What? Oh, I, I think there was a coffee cup here a minute ago. Yikes. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch! Really? She should consider Guilt Slinger as her next profession. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <gasps> what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. No, the magnet wouldn't look good there. Shall we shop? Let's do! If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Camera. Oh, the society pages. <laughs> Must be skull and bones. Whee!
Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? He's pretending to read the gardening section. So it's true. He is Toy Mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. He's coming in. We're done for. I surrender. I surrender. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver, and he delivered. I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't b Taz's part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh, no, no, no! Oh my goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me! Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread I'll shoot you both. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick. Oh. Oh. Mama. Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Say rough, say rough. I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me, nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. 
It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmin as a team. Follow my lead. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so thrifty. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Yo mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Presto, a nun-armed bandit no longer. Success! Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomaine, no! Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm, yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. 
and we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Need? My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Teddy Bears. For all we know, the original Teddy Bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Holy modern technology gone horribly, horribly awry. This is not good. Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then! Or this hypno-bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno-Bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel... sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master? Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. I obey. Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand deaths, Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well, so cold. Why am I so cold?
Okay. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. Anybody got a screw loose? Oops. You're on fire. You're on fire. Shh. Okay, so if I put this Framel what's it in this Flingle Flipper... You're on fire! Aw, oh, isn't that cute? now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire. Help, help. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. There goes nothing. Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one. Run! That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Doesn't exist. QED, they're not in our midst. Say Edgar, me and Teddy Bear. No goons, 
no drop or so grip or so thug. No dips, no clip or so chippies, no lugs. No button man packing gaps loaded with slugs. It's you and me and Teddy Bear. No mafia here. Black mafia, please. We're mafia free. No mafia mugs. Just doing business legitimately.